Everybody, put your hands together for comedy wizard Clifford Myers. Oh, wow! Wow! Look at this! Wow! Thank you! Wow, wow, amazing! Um, come on, please. Can you give it up for that lovely Jewish lesbian, please? So, so kind of her. Uh, recording a taping, uh, we spared no expense. Uh, <laughs> you guys are pretty conservative with your dicks. Re yeah, there's one big purple one, like, yeah, like Barney the Purple Dick Monster, right there. Oh, there's one right above uh, Mark Zuckerberg's head. Right here, how's it going, Norman? When, yeah, you touch me, you're disgusting. Now, it's been a while since I've performed at Emerson. I used to do this show for two years, and uh, and now I'm the kind of guy who gets into internet arguments so heated that the only way to win is to tattoo it on my arm. Like, I'm that guy now. Like, two days ago, I went to Barton Street to get this tattoo on Barton Street. I was just sick of it. I was like, you know what? I've gone 31 years without hepatitis. I, I'm going to put an end to that right now. Anyone come all the way from Barton tonight? We got any Bartonites? No? Are you from Barton? Okay, well, you'll like this. This is my impression of Barton Street. <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> 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 yeah, my entire set's impressions of streets. That's what's gonna happen. Are you girls comfortable? I feel like you're way too close to crotch level. This can't be good for you. Just a waft of hamburger helper smell going right. I'm so sorry, it's stroganoff, right? That's the flavor, it's stroganoff. And I like that you guys are watching a comedy show and they're watching an eclipse. Like that feels, that feels good, you know? Like you guys are laughing, they're like, will we ever see again? I don't know, I don't know the truth. I'm originally from Oshawa and I moved here to Hamilton in 2009 you people lied to me. You lied to me. You told me that you had a mountain. No, that is not a mountain. A mountain is something you conquer, something you trailblaze. Like there's a peanut pit on the top and the bottom. You can't start a journey with a falafel and end with a roast beef. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. This has been a good year for me. I've had a baby. Yeah. Right, it's cool. I like that you guys are applauding for that. You're like, wow, you had a baby. This dude's like, oh, he's had sex, weird. <laughs> I get that, like, 
first of all, like, dude, the last time I had good sex, I think it was when my son was conceived, because first of all, I was on top, which never happens, because you know, death. <laughs> How'd your wife die? A motorboat accident! Oh! I'm so sorry! It's great that I got a baby now. Like, I really enjoy it. I never thought I could have a baby. Cause like, I, I don't know how the body works. I thought my sperm would be like fat like me. I didn't think it would run all the way to the egg. I thought I'd just stay in the lobby and play weed. You know? It's weird now that I'm a dad and, and like, my wife, like, she's wonderful, but we get judged all the time. Like, first of all, you put a side by side, we don't look like we're together. She's five foot two, a hundred pounds. She looks like I took her. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> and she gets all the compliments. Everyone's always like, oh, Lindsay, you're so beautiful. You're precious. <laughs> Me, I don't get those compliments. I get one compliment everywhere I go. Oh. You look like a giant teddy bear. <laughs> Excuse me. I am six foot two, 400 pounds. That's not a teddy bear. That's a regular bear. That's a baby Kodiak. It's insulting, man. <laughs> It's crazy. I'm really happy we named our son Henry. And uh, do, you, do you guys like that name? Like, I, I, well, this is, this is a college crowd. You guys are an intellectual crowd. You guys would know, you history buffs in the audience, you would know that Henry was a brave and fearless chocolate bar. <laughs> All right? How are you guys doing back here? Yeah. Yeah. Now they know what it's like to stare at my ass the whole time. It's terrifying, isn't it? The ass crack goes completely up my back between the shoulder blades. No pot of gold at the end of that rainbow. It's disturbing, right? And you're eating in front of me, very brave. <laughs> Are you gonna finish that poutine? Oh my God, I kind of want in on it. <laughs> I can't, no, I made the rule that, no, I made the rule that if I'm doing a comedy special, I'm not covering myself in gravy. I made that mistake on my wedding night. I am not doing that tonight. I am not doing that. Lindsay was like, welcome to Mexico. And I'm like, ah, I got room service. And he's like, oh no, he got into the gravy. You guys been to Mexico, you know they only serve gravy. And... <laughs> Have you been to Mexico? No. You're, you're a white girl. Have you been anywhere? I just did Japan and all that crap. Oh, Japan. Ohana. <laughs> Wait, did you actually fucking think that was a Japanese word? Because I just busted out the Hawaiian word for family. <laughs> Ohana. It does look delicious, doesn't it? Not everyone wants to tattoo cheese on their arm. But I made a decision years ago. <laughs> that I would take this life seriously. <laughs> Who's been to Mexico? Me! Yeah. Alright. So you know that Mexico comes with a lot of warnings. You got a friend going to Mexico, what's the warning you give him? What is it? No, that's water. What'd you say? <laughs> You said, watch your shit? <laughs> you know, that's general life advice. Like, you, if you got shit, you should watch your shit. That sounded kind of gangster, too. You're like, yo, you gotta watch your shit. And I was like, from the whitest girl in this room. It's actually, it's don't drink the water, I heard over here. And... Oh! Water! I forgot that thing we need to live. Water! There's actually a secondary warning with don't drink the water. It's don't drink the ice cubes. Because yeah. yeah. they're made of water. <laughs> <laughs> I come from an 
intensely Portuguese family, very intense. And they're coming up to my wife and I at the way, and they're like, when you go to Mexico, don't drink the water and don't consume the ice cubes. They're telling you like a witch warning you not to go to the mountain. Like, when you go to Mexico, don't drink the water and don't consume the ice cubes. I don't know why my family's doing this. And I am so sorry for your view. Oh my God! But my wife and I were on the airplane, my family's running down the tarmac. Don't drink the water! And don't consume the ice cubes! So I get to Mexico. First thing they give us is a complimentary glass of ice water. <laughs> and I didn't know what to do, right? I didn't know what to do if the ice was in the water. I thought it was like two positives make a negative. I've never been good at geography. <laughs> Anyways, long story short, I shit my pants. <laughs> threw, that, threw that one to you. It's cool. <laughs> I'm winded already. That, that is a bad part of your life when you get winded from talking. <laughs> I, got, I got some work to do. I've been trying to exercise. I want to go to the gym and stuff like that, you know? Woo! <laughs> I like that there was a woo, and there was just like a, a hearty laugh. <laughs> like, you're like, yeah, go to the gym. She's like, it's never gonna happen. It's never gonna happen. That is insulting. <laughs> Proving you wrong is, oh my God. Is this what birth feels like? Cause this is miserable. I feel like I just felt my chota wink. Mm -hmm. so the whole thing about raising a kid, like it was weird when Lindsay was pregnant because like, I felt like she was kind of taunting me. She was about five months pregnant. And she comes in, she's like, Clifford, oh my God, I just weighed myself. I'm 120 pounds. And that's the heaviest I've ever been. Now, you look like you've karate chopped a pregnant chick. Uh, 120 pounds. 120 pounds. That was me in grade three. You're saying when I was eight years old, I was the size of a woman in her second trimester. She turns around, she's like, no, Cliff, look, my ass is eating my underwear. I'm like, Lindsay, my ass is eating everything. Where do you think our fucking couch went? Are you fucking kidding me? Where'd the black guy go? <laughs> like, I'm not being rude, but from afar, it looked like the cast of Get Out, and now it's the ending. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I was gonna get away with that one. <laughs> Do we have any parents here? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> your parent? Oh, how, how old's your child? I have two, uh, three-year-old and a six-month-old. Oh. Two boys. Two fellas. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> Are they hot? <laughs> no, like, are they gonna grow up hot, do you think? <laughs> I think we can say that, it's our kids. Uh, like, I can't say that about your kids, that's weird. <laughs> like, if I was like, hey, your kid's gonna be hot one day. Because I look at my son and he's like cute. And the thing is, okay, if you know me, and you know my wife, Lindsay, it's weird in the first place. <laughs> Because I got this really big personality. I'm a little crazy. I like to have some fun, right? Yeah. Lindsay's this cute little doll, and uh, she, I don't know how to put this politely, has a high voice. <laughs> like, imagine, like, Mickey Mouse gets high, sucks helium, <laughs> goes to Mars. That's my wife. That's my wife. And we are thinking right now, because my son is starting to talk. We hear him in the morning. And the other day, all I heard was <laughs> and I was like, holy shit, our kid is gonna have your voice with my personality. That is terrifying. Imagine like he's playing at school with your kids. What's your kid's name? Homer. Homer, oh my God, we'll get to that in a second. <laughs> all right. So uh, Homer, some, guys, some parents hate their kids. Okay. So, so Homer's like, hi, that's, I'm Homer, that's my real name. And then, and then my son is just like, <laughs> and Homer would still be the 
weird one. <laughs> Are you having more kids? No. Yeah. Uh, I was gonna say, if you do, you should let us name them. Because you don't seem to totally care. Kids. <laughs> you know, <it's> like... <laughs> oh man. You know, when Homer starts like being a teenager and getting laid, he can go to his friends and be like, yeah, I just rocked a Homer. <laughs> right? Oh my God. I can't wait for your son to get pussy. Wow. That is a beautiful thing. Or a dick. 2017, I get it. Do your thing, do your thing. Do you think there's a lot behind a name? Yes. Yeah, who said yes over here? Yeah. That was me. Oh, well, shit girl. <laughs> If, if you ever have a child, what do you want to name him or her? I like, I like Jewy. I did not hear that at all. Did you say I like Jewy? <laughs> like Chewbacca, but Jewish? Jimmy. Jimmy. My dad's name is Jimmy. Did you know that? Am I getting fucking pumped right now? <laughs> you like the name Jimmy? Yeah. That's not a really hipster name. Like, I feel like nowadays you gotta be like, I'm naming my kid Pine or Cedar or Homer. <laughs> I'm terrified of my kid's little screech in the morning because my wife has a really high voice, so I'm just afraid. <laughs> what jobs is for that guy? <laughs> Not a whole lot. Not a call center job, right? Thank you for calling. <laughs> like, that's not cool. Who here's worked at a call center? Yeah, so you guys, you guys know how hard it is. The rest of you that have never worked in a call center, you have no idea how hard it is. You have no idea how hard it is pretending to be Indian all day. It's tiring. How was your shit, man? Perfect. Just want to give you a little shoulder squeeze. Make you feel at home. I don't know you, Chris. Cole, was it? Yeah. Well, I remembered your name. What do you do, Cole? Uh, I cook. You cook? Yeah. They cheered more for a coal that cooks than Homer. <laughs> and you're from Kitchener, Waterloo? Yeah, yeah. That's cool. Woo! Yeah, we got people from all so out of town right now. We got Kitchener, Waterloo, we got Brantford. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> That's like a native thing. <laughs> we got Brantford. Woo! It just throws a tomahawk at me. Like, yeah, we get it. I once fell through a stage in Brantford and I knew. And I knew it was made in Brantford because it said made in and it was just a bunch of knife scratches and cigarette burns. So I knew that I was going down. Oh, by the way, I want to thank you guys so much for coming to this show. Afterwards, you guys are going to hang out. You're going to come and hug me. I appreciate that. But I get sweaty up here. I get sweaty. So just be prepared. If you want to hug me, fine. But you're going to get waterboarded by my tits. Okay? Like, that's going to happen. I'm going to bring you in. You're going to be like, I'll tell you everything. Well, someone went that way. Like, <laughs> that's what's going to happen. So just prepare yourselves. And, uh, you know, after the show, I'll be available uh, to give orgasms to anyone with a dolphin tattoo. No. <laughs> Everyone's checking their arms. Did I get that recently? I could really use an orgasm. I'm from Brantford. We don't get those too often. Uh, I love stand-up comedy. This is the greatest thing ever. Sometimes I get paid in money. I'm from Hamilton. We don't know what that is, right? I get paid in money. And uh, what happened to me a year ago is I got paid in pot cookies. Now, now I don't partake in pot. Too hot. But I don't say no to cookies. So, so I took them home. I was going to share them with a friend. I was going to be a nice little marijuana angel, you know? Now, I was doing a show in Hamilton. It was Wednesday night. I had two shows. And I was out in the town. And I told you how different me and my wife are in size. We're different in every way, shape, and form. I'm this big, crazy guy. I got a potty mouth. Lindsay, she's a good Christian girl. Doesn't drink, doesn't do drugs, nothing like that. And I get a text message from my good, wholesome, Christian wife. Clifford, I think you might try a pot <laughs> Now, I want to encourage, but I don't want to enable. So I say, okay, 
Try a piece. A piece. <laughs> she texts me back. I had the whole cookie. I told you how small she is. A pot cookie to me is a pot roast to her. She's not just getting high. She's getting high. I'm talking Chris Hatfield, guitar in space. Hi. And she's losing her mind. She calls me all paranoid. Cliff, you got to help me. Netflix is trying to eat me. Like she's losing her shit. and like, switch the craze. Switch the craze. You know, I'm trying to be a good husband. I'm like, listen, babe, just go underneath the covers and drink peanut butter with a straw. I'll be home soon. I'll be home soon. It's okay. <laughs> so I'm doing a show. I had a nice shirt on that night. Front pocket, phone's in the pocket. And I'm trying to do comedy, but Lindsay's losing her mind. Like, you see the text messages blasting through my shirt. Like, Cliff, help me. Netflix, girl. Like, just losing it. My nipple looks like a strobe light. You would have danced. <laughs> you would have danced. <laughs> and I've never done this in my life. I've never turned to an audience and I go, audience, I am so sorry, but I have to... I have to go. My wife is in a pot cookie emergency. <laughs> and I have to leave. And I gotta be honest, I hate that I left the show, but I kind of feel like a hero. I kind of feel like I'm gallivanting off to save the day. And I'm like, li call Lindsay on the phone. I'm like, Lindsay, I'm coming home and everything's gonna be okay. And at this moment, my wife, she comforts me. <laughs> she says, Clifford, Everything's already okay. <laughs> I'm in the ambulance now. <laughs> My wife <laughs> got so high, she called 911 emergency. <laughs> and said in these exact words, you have to come get me. I had a high cookie. <laughs> a high cookie, how adorable is that? Imagine being on the other line like, oh, we better get this stone four-year-old. <laughs> a high cookie. So we live a minute from hospital, you guys know it, St. Joe's Hospital. Hospital. I walk in, I can't find Lindsay. This is terrifying. Because you gotta understand, this is the worst thing she's ever done. This is her breaking back. <laughs> like, she's 30 years old, high out of her mind in Hamilton, Ontario, lost in her My Little Pony pajamas. Not fucking cool. So I'm looking for her, and I get a call on my phone again. It's from Lindsay. She said, Cliff, where are you? I'm at Barton Hospital. <laughs> Barton! <laughs> it was like that was the plan. Barton. <laughs> Why are you at Barton Hospital? What are you doing in my... What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Here's the story. <laughs> so my wife, Lindsay, she's in the ambulance, surrounded by paramedics. And they're like, oh, we're right here. Let's just take her to Joe's. And then my wife, in her mushy marijuana brain, it's just like, oh my god, who the fuck is Joe? <laughs> Don't take me to Joe's, they take her to Barton. Like, can someone tell me what paramedic is suddenly an Uber driver? <laughs> like, oh, if she wants to go this way, we'll go this way. <laughs> like, the five star rating my ass. What is that, right? And I walk into the hospital. This is, I've never felt more judged in my life. Row of nurses looking at me, like, oh, he for sure gave her the drugs. <laughs> and I get that, because A, I look like a drug dealer, and B, I look like a baker. <laughs> Maybe this is preparing us for parenthood, because I see my wife in the corner, She's all balled up, doughy-eyed. I don't know where she got the crayons. <laughs> and I turned to the doctor, uh, a Hamilton doctor, who I must reiterate, went to school to be a doctor. <laughs> Gave me this sound advice. Listen, son, get her water and get her McDonald's. <laughs> 
prescription for that? That's amazing. My wife's just in the corner high out of her mind, like, ba da ba 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 Like, Lindsay, stop that. We are leaving Barton Street now. Stop that. ba 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 Lindsay, no! Um, I want to do a tradition, something I used to do at Emerson. Are you guys ready for magic time? I need to hear it. Are you ready for magic time? Here we go. Magic time. Magic time. Magic time. Yell louder. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, the amazing Reed. Amazing. And it's magic time. Over here, pal. Oh, he's filming me. No, he's not. What's your name, buddy? Baker. Baker? Yeah. Baker. I know. It's <laughs> Baker, can you come here and join me? Guys, give Baker a big round of applause. Stand right here for me, Baker. Now, Baker, can you do me a favor? Yeah. Can you just reach your hand up like that? Like this. Yeah, that's perfect. Look at this. Shazam! <laughs> Guys, give it up for Baker. That's pretty cool, right? Yeah, Watch, we're gonna try a little bit of a card trick. It's magic time. Here we go, ready? If that floated, that would have been so cool. <laughs> Baker, do me a favor, pull out a card. Alright. You take a look at it, you memorize it, you can show a couple people. I know not everyone's gonna be able to see it. But you show a couple people if you flash in like those Sorry. windows. Yeah. Toss it on top. Baker, I'm going to mix this in? Yeah. Just like that, you can have a seat. Thank you very much, Baker. Right. Guys, give a big round of applause. By the way, this is the perfect situation for magic. People behind me. So, yeah. so this, is, this is magic time. This is magic time at Clifford's recording, so we got to go big, guys. I need some encouragement. We're going to start a slow clap. Slow clap. Ready, everyone? Oh, this is so good. Now, I grew up in the 90s. Add a quack to that clap. Quack, 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 quack. Okay, 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 okay. I just Bruce lee one card out of the air, guys. <laughs> Baker, what was the card you chose? Two of diamonds. That would have been so good. <laughs> Right, we're filming this, if I caught the right card. I mean, it was cool that I caught one. <laughs> Guys, the two of diamonds. Oh. Give it up for Baker. <laughs> Cliff. 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 Guys, give it up for the amazing Reed. Do you have any idea? How hard comedy is when you have to bring a magician everywhere you go. And how many of you assholes yelled, Clifford just made that guy disappear? You, I'm not gonna fuck with you, you're a muscly black man. Oh, Jesus, are you okay? When you guys were slow clapping, he was just patty whacking my side like he's riding a mechanical bull. He's like, I can't see the trick, but I'm having a good time. You should probably burn everything. <laughs> your clothes, your skin. That didn't hurt you? No. He wants seconds. <laughs> I just end my show sitting on his face. <laughs> like, what, how, what was the big finale? Like, Clifford killed a man. That was crazy. He full out murdered that guy by sitting on his face. Okay, turn up. What's turned up? What the fuck right now? No, I clearly look like I only listen to Mumford and Sons. Like exclusively one album. 
before they like teamed up with T Swift and Civil Wars. Like, and you guys just like turn up Tuesday. Like I heard turn up Tuesdays, and I'm like, that sounds economical. <laughs> like I like these Amish gangsters right now. Like turn up Tuesdays, bloop. Turn that button, motherfucker. Right. Thank you. That's what I usually say to myself in the mirror. You know. <laughs> I am so sorry, Clifford. Your body just turned out that way. A lot of ice cream in the shower. <laughs> this is how you decided to live your life. Right? So what's turned up mean? Does that mean just getting drunk? Yeah. Pretty yeah. much. Because fuck the Don't explain out. it. Just say yeah. No. She has to explain everything. I need the urban dictionary here. I'm pointing to her. Don't even make this about you. <laughs> Yeah! I was trying to get every joke of mine onto this taping. I wasn't sure if I was going to get the whole black guy puking bit. <laughs> really glad we captured it. Like, that's awesome. Because nor that was an old bit of mine, and normally they didn't know what I was about to do. <laughs> it was like, hey, welcome to the show. <laughs> 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 That's, did you just snort? Who just snorted over there? Don't point at the black guy. Even if he did snort, that's like the one rule around here. Don't point at the black guy. If I ran for mayor, that would be my slogan. Clifford Myers for mayor. Do not point at the black guy. What's your name, uh, Dampy? What's it? Ricky. Ricky, that's right, Ricky. What do you do, Ricky? Uh, Has anyone noticed that my shadow totally looks like the head of a dick? <laughs> oh my god! We are fucking on that long! On that long! Turns on Tuesday! <laughs> that's, that's not right! Oh no, where's he going? He's coming after you! Watch out, watch out, watch out! Go, duck, 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 go, go! That's my swimming dick shadow routine. <laughs> Turns out better than it normally does. I usually only do that for fundraisers. <laughs> I get to do comedy shows all over the place. What happened two Christmases ago is I got hired to do a BDSM Christmas party. <laughs> For those of you that are new to Emerson, this guy's name is Balsack. That's what we call him. He's missing a tooth, and he just went, oh, to BDSM. In case anyone's wondering which hill has eyes, it's the one he lives on. In case anyone's a little curious, it's Balsack. What was I talking about? <laughs> I like that ball sack with the first one. BDSM, finish the story. We want to hear where this is going to go. It's weird because like, like I was doing a show and I was talking to these people and I was asking them about their jobs. And they're BDSM people. They believe in like like chains and whips and stuff of the ass and never returning. Like, like that's sort of like what they're into. And uh, I, I, it's not for me. But fine for them, whatever. So I was doing the show and I was asking the people in the audience uh, what their jobs were and this girl told me that she was into flogging. And I said, what's flogging? And then all these people just turned to each other like, what's flogging? What's like, like one of us, one of us. And they all start chanting and then she comes to the stage and shows me what flogging is. Turns me around, whips me against the wall. My wife is in the audience. Like, this is insulting. I'm just like, I'm like, Lindsay, turn around. This isn't fair. Like, I'm just freaking out. And then there's this girl in the audience. Her name was Monkey. I asked her her name. She said her name was Monkey. She was a sex cam operator. And I'm not being rude here, but Monkey had a short skirt on and wasn't wearing any underwear. <laughs> This was a big monkey. Like, you're not letting your kid in that gorilla cage. This is, 
this is a big monkey. You don't even understand. Like, I was terrified. Like, her labia just looked like a grandfather clock. Just like, boom, boom, boom. Like, it looked like a monkey paw all out of wishes. You know? And I turned her, and I was just like, oh my God, I feel like I'm getting lost in this. I feel like I'm in Narnia. Then after the show, my wife got so mad at me. More mad than I've ever seen anyone. She's like, Cliff, I'm so mad. Sorry. I'm so mad. I'm like, why? And I'm thinking it's because the girl whipped me. She probably didn't like that. Or like, because I was talking about, just talking about monkey's labia. Right? And she said, I didn't like it when you said that you like that girl's vagina. <laughs> when did I say that? When did I say I liked her vagina? I never said that. She said, yes, you did. You said that it looked like Narnia. <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, yeah, Narnia. It's big and vast, and you have to get through fur coats to get there. <laughs> Narnia. She's like, no, Narnia is a place I want to go. That's the most adorable thing to get mad at me about. <laughs> you guys have been really awesome. Here's the thing about comedy. Comedy used to be easy. You know, like, we can't do anything nowadays. I used to do this thing where I would, uh, I would grab the pitcher of water and spit it in the air like Triple H. <laughs> you guys might remember, I've done that a few times here. Yeah. Well, I was doing that at another show in Hamilton, and I spit it in the air, and this girl in the front row was like, who are you as a man? to think it's okay to spit on a woman. I'm like, I'm from Hamilton. That's how we propose. Like, dude, I remember when comedy was easy. Remember you just go to a girl in the audience and you'd be like, hey, do you fart during sex? And we all just throw walnuts at you. <laughs> and then you're laughing with your walnut pelts and you're just having a great time. Like, I had a girl come up to me and she was like, Clifford, I'm laughing so hard my cheeks hurt. So I got off her face. <laughs> It's good. I gotta go soon. I'm so sorry. All I heard was I wasn't going to, and then I just hear Baker do it, do it, and then like like splash zone over here is like do not do it. I never thought, like, you know, I would make something of myself. Because you gotta know, understand, I was, I was... That hurt so bad. I'm like, I never thought I'd make something of myself. <laughs> Just like, no one did. <laughs> that is painful. Because, like, I got bullied as a kid, right? Like, I had, when I was a kid, I, I had braces. I got made fun of. I remember the first day I went onto the field, all the kids started calling me names. They looked at my braces and started calling me fat ass and lardo. <laughs> they didn't even notice my braces! Come on! <laughs> <laughs> that is a direct quote from my comedy album. <laughs> <laughs> Dash Clifford Myers. <laughs> Here's the thing, I'm gonna be leaving most of these jokes behind me. I'm gonna go try to do new jokes. Aww. I'm not leaving comedy. I'm like, I'm gonna go try to be a better person. You're like, oh, don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> but I want to put some classics onto the, the taping. Is that cool? I haven't told these in years. And I want to see if I just still know how to tell them. All right. <laughs> I was pausing for a dramatic effect. <laughs> and suddenly you two just became the Muppets in the balcony. <laughs> like, I'm just like, I'm pausing here. I'm going to tell a, a, a joke. And then you're like, I don't know if you can do it. <laughs> I don't know if he has what it takes. And she's like, he definitely has what it takes. He's been working up to this. Look at him. He's, his, his head is a shadow piece. He knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. And he's like, I don't know if we can take the pressure. <laughs> I can take the pressure. I'm here. That's <laughs> hot. Oh my god. <laughs> 
I came onto this stage. I brought a magician. I brought friends who named their kids stupid fucking friends. Yeah, we all know who I was talking about. I sit on patrons. I have a penis head. When I pause for dramatic effect, it means we're going somewhere. right now I, the one thing you don't yell during a pause is he's pausing let him pause that's the one thing you don't yell <laughs> I was about to tell him to get out but I can't <laughs> Imagine this was the whole bit. <laughs> like I actually don't have a joke. I just pay this guy to be like, yo, when I pause, you know what to do. <laughs> when I pause, you just get in there and you do the thing. <laughs> Clifford Myers, everybody. Wow. <laughs>